right boys playoff promo part two is officially out and we have the aj brown ltd and i am very 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 excited to use this card he does come with like one ap route tech the deep out elite we'll show you the card the stats but as you guys know we do gameplays on all the new cards so make sure that like button hit that sub we're on the road to 25k i also stream on twitch every single day at 1 p.m eastern so make sure to come say what's up we'll be doing re-rolls we'll be using all the new cards today so come say what's up and let's get right back into the gameplay before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, MuffPacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. All right, boys, so AJ Brown actually looks pretty good right here. 95 speed on him, which is solid. We do have a 97 speed Tyreek in the game. We have a couple 96s in the game as well, but 95 is not bad for a guy that's really, really good after the catch as well. He has 97 jumping. He has 95 catching 99 catching traffic on my team i do have the new real in legendary strat item if you guys are wondering what i'm using he does have 97 spec catch on the squad as well 94 shore earning 96 medium and a 97 deep so amazing stats across the board i know he's not the tallest but he is a pretty thick boy there at not, uh, 226 pounds which is really nice and then when we look at the trucking stats he has 91 trucking and 96 break tackle his abilities are pretty solid as well in his last slot you can go with bruiser but why would you do that when route tech is here i will say this route tech did cost 6k training i don't know why i don't know why they're doing that but yes it was 6k training and then over here we are using deep out elite you could go with mid and elite for zero but i think deep out elite is that much more of a better ability that i'm still okay with spending one ap on it and then obviously the double me i feel like we just use an aj brown card because thanksgiving felt like it was not too long ago but yeah, he got a new upgraded version. Let's see how good this one is. All right, boys, we ended up getting into a game here. It looks like we're playing against a very good team. He has Lamar. He has the new T.Y. Hill and LTD as well. But we have the new LTD, AJ Brown, two here in our top three. Super excited. Hopefully, we can get the ball first right here. And yes, he goes up two overalls. I'm not in a theme team or anything. That is literally the new real in strat card. It's crazy what it does to your overall. All right, boys, here we go. We are rocking Steve Young. I do want to switch quarterbacks, but I'm just using him because I had to pick one up real quick because I already sold my Lamar. But let's see, first and 10, it looks like he is blitzing from the side. And look at our guy, Steve Young and AJ Brown coming in nicely right there, boys. It looks like this guy's going to be blitzing a lot. All right, we're going to sl uh, slide our line to the right side and ID this guy. I think that might be the best way to pick that up right there. Let's see if we get a nice little play going here. We're going to throw a high ball. Actually, I didn't even get the high ball off. And AJ Brown looking nice already. He feels really good out there. I don't know what it is, but he got to that route really, really fast. We got to keep him honest. I got to start doing this more in gameplays. We have the quad father. Let's keep this guy honest a little bit here. We haven't ran the ball yet. And there we go. A big run right there to start off. And look at the quad father, man. He's going to take over most gameplays until this guy gets nerfed or his ap gets changed so it looks like he's out of that blitz he could still be running it but it doesn't look like he's in it right now let's see what he's got for us right here and we do have a wide open quad father and i did go away from fearless and oh that is not a good look right there without fearless boys so he has sent that guy out on a blitz every single time. What we're going to do is literally ID him. And if this doesn't pick it up, then we know the game is not the best game in the world. We know that. Let's see if we get a nice little play over here, though. AJ Brown looks like he is going to be wide open. I have to do the most to pick up that blitz. I even flipped so my running back was on the side of it. And there we go, boys. He actually didn't even blitz that play. So we'll take a wide open touchdown with our AJ Brown. I think he has around 60 yards, if I'm not mistaken. He had 44, and then he just had that catch right there. Let's go, boys. Hey, great start. All right, boys. It looks like we're playing the quad father ourselves. So it might be just, uh, you know, we might just be cutting the offense if it comes a really bad problem here on defense because, yeah, I still got to switch my abilities to kind of stop this guy. But let's see what he's got for us right here. He is a tight end wide open. Man, he had a lot of things open there. That was not a good defensive play, boys. I just rewatched that, and I actually have no clue, literally no clue in the world how he had that much time. I sent five right there, and his line just went absolutely crazy, and he is flipping. I don't know what he's going to do right here, though, boys. Let's see. And I got to press. He actually, I don't know. He's kind of snapping the hell out of the ball right now. It looks like he's just chucking it up again. We do have a KO over there. Let's go, boys. All right, boys. Third and 10. I am not pinching my line. I'm actually going to guess pass if he runs with the quad father. And then it's probably going to be a touchdown at this rate. But let's see. Third and 10. What does he got for us? It looks like he's actually blocking him right now. We're going to go guard this deep. And there it goes, man. That's the benefit of having a Lamar card on your team. You get bagged and you can do that. That's why I kind of want to go back to Lamar because... Yeah, I mean, dude, there's ten, plenty of times with like Elway, yada, yada. You can't do stuff like that. But right there, everything, nothing was open. Not a thing in the world was open, but 
Yep, there it is. Lamar Jackson. Here we go. First dose of the quad father. Not that bad, I guess. All right, boys, second and five. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts running the ball a little bit more here. It looks like this guy actually just wants to pass. I kind of respect it. And we got a corner out to the left, and there goes Lamar. My user was really doing nothing right there, but... Yeah, our D-line is getting absolutely demolished right now, boys. Like I said, this is probably going to be an offensive game. <laughs> With these new cards that came out, it's, like, impossible to play defense. AKA card draw literally, like, ruined defense. Lamar is insane just because of the scramble ability. And then, obviously, the quad father. And then, on top of that, if you have good route combos, it's almost impossible. But let's see what he's got right here. Looks like he's throwing it. We have KOs everywhere now. All right, third and nine. We are sending everybody. So there's no way you should have enough time with a Lamar scramble, especially with five people sending in all the zig route boys. We're still going to get a sack through the running back. Wow. Jason Verrett got a sack through the running back. Hey, right, boys, on the right side, I backed that guy off. We are in man coverage, just blitzing everybody right now. We don't need a Lamar scramble. I know T.Y. is short out, so we are not pressing him. So that should not be a burn over there on the right side. And let's see if we can get going right here. And no pressure with a five-man send. Can Lamar? Save the day here. Uh oh, boys. This is scary. There's no way, right? Please don't put me on a TikTok. Oh my God. I almost got put on a TikTok, boys. 0 for 4 from Big Trust in the throwing game. And he's out of there, man. Come on. You just play. Ah, oh, no more AJ Brown this game. All right, boys. Here we go. I got the Vikings throwback custom unis on, and I actually really, really do like these. AJ Brown right there in the slot. This is kind of my starter play. If you guys haven't noticed, like every single game, I feel like. I didn't even think it was possible for him to get there. Wow, good play, good play. All right, boys, first and 10. It looks like we are playing against a runner here. We're not gonna click on over there. We're gonna let Chan Bailey do the work. Hey, right, second and 10. We need some pressure to come in. We do have a zone going out there on the right. And it looks like we are playing legitimately an only runner and RPO guy right now. Uh-oh, boys, uh-oh. All right, third and seven. We do have that slot on the left side manned up. Let's see what he's got for us over here. And it looks like maybe an underneath route. Where's our pressure? This happened two games in a row. Two games in a row, boys. I'm just cutting to offense. This is crazy. It's not quite the best drive in the world. Tom Brady looks like prime Lamar. Jeremy Chin looks like prime Ed Reed on us right now. Not the best game, but we can still come out on top. Let's see what we got right here with our guy, Ed Reed. Not, I, why did I just say Ed Reed? Our guy, AJ Brown. AJ Brown looking really good here on the second drive. Still can't even believe it. Like, I still can't believe he got there with AJ Brown. That ball felt like it was in the air for or with uh, Jeremy Chin. And then the, the third down or we had all no pressure at all but look at aj brown man if he's gonna be in match all game we're gonna have to run very similar plays but right now we're kind of killing it like match coverage just is like it's not really like you gotta let the computers do like most of the work that's what i don't like doing in the game and yeah it's it's just like easy to dot up especially when you give that much time and look at it boys he is running straight for him and we're gonna get a sack the four-man rush there it is all right boys second and 23 no problem right here all of our big plays have kind of been that anyways and it looks like maybe aj brown over here aj brown, i mean he's just destroying all these dbs out here all right probably not the play you guys want to see but we're doing it i mean it's just too easy not to do Ah uh, yeah, third and goal. We're just going to him, boys. The Godfather, the Quadfather. Hey, right, boys, I did end up letting him score, and then he kicked it out of bounds. It's been kind of a chaotic game. I really just want to get some offensive clips right now. We are in Mutt Champions, and I already did finish my Mutt Champion, so I, I like giving away free wins. We're only here to see AJ Brown at the end of the day. Let's see if we can get a nice little play to the outside. It looks like he's manning it up, and I'm going to be honest. I feel like we should be a lot faster than any sort of Mika Fitzpatrick, even on a theme team there, no? I feel, especially at the break. See if we get something going here. That first play was not the best, and you guys could see we have turned him into a man-on-man. -man. He is taken out of his control and literally is going to go one-on-one -on -one with A.J. Brown this game. I will say A.J. Brown was a very good card when I used his 93, so I'm guessing his 96 is obviously going to be insane as well. And yes, this gameplay, I kind of felt that way the entire time, but it looks like, yeah, he is kind of taking the job to literally lock down A.J. Brown. That is a good thing, boys. By the way, when somebody has done everything they could uh, defensively and they still can't stop him, the only way they can stop him is usering him. That's a good thing. But in a gameplay, it's not the best thing in the world because we're trying to force it to him. But let's see if we can get going right here on second and 10, boys. And it looks like Quadfather left wide open once again. This guy does not want to guard him. So it looks like he's in man here for this big fourth and one play right now. We have been, not been playing the best game in the world right now. I will be completely honest. Let's see if we get something going here on the next one, though. And it looks like AJ Brown is going to be wide open to end the video off. 
All right, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below, are you picking up AJ Brown and where would you guys rank him in your top 10? I only wanted to get really offensive clips right there. That's why you guys tell me to leave the game. And like I said, I'm gonna give him the Mutt Champ W. I don't need it anymore. I already finished my Mutt Champs. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.